Welcome to the Midwest. My name is Jesse, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite herb, kava kava. Kava kava is an herb that is native to the Pacific Islands, um, and I have been using kava kava for years and years and years, ever since I was a, a teenager, I've been using kava kava, and we're going to talk a little bit about how to how it's used, some of the benefits of using kava kava. First, I'm going to make some kava right in front of you. It takes about five minutes ish, somewhere around there. Uh, so I'll get that started, and then we'll talk a little bit about the benefits of kava kava. First of all, you want to make sure to find a good brand. I use this particular brand. Um, I will have a link in the comment section uh, or above the comment section uh, that will take you to a blog entry about Kava Kava and there'll be some links as far as the brands that I per personally trust. I'd appreciate it if you use those links. If you do choose to buy Kava Kava, a small portion of that goes back to helping produce this particular YouTube channel. So it depends on where you are in the Pacific Islands as far as how a person will make kava. Um, in the 90s, I remember using kava and I would just take kava kava pills. And in, you know, that was great. Uh, some people have a hot tea, other people do, well, there's all kinds of ways to ingest kava. The traditional methods of using kava generally have to do with uh, getting a large basin of water and, you, and taking ground kava from the roots just the roots, and, and generally we don't want any stems or, or any, any leaves, just the root area of the kava plant. And essentially, we uh, would let that water sit for about five minutes. Um, then, depending on the island you're on, there's different methods uh, as far as the next part, the, the actual straining part, uh, because you don't want to actually ingest the powder itself because it's... I mean, it kind of hurts your throat. It's kind of a sawdust type of a thing. You want to take a quick look. Here is what it looks like. This is, I don't want to spill it. It's a beautiful, precious thing. This is kava kava. And so kava kava, whenever you get it to this point and when it's ready to use, when it's noble kava, it will resemble sawdust. It looks a lot like sawdust. And there's a lot of different ways to make it, but this is how I make it. This is kind of like the Midwestern hack version of Kava Kava. Um, so what I do is I'll get a shaker bottle. Typically, um, while some people like to drink it hot, uh, the active ingredients, the Kava Lactones, are deactivated when you use like boiling hot water. And we want, the, we want those things. That's, that's the, that's the feel-good stuff. Kava Kava... Uh, has, it has a psychoactive quality to it, so we're talking about something that's going to make you feel real good. Um, and it's legal everywhere. There is no place that it's not legal. So it's a kind of a legal buzz um, that some people ask me, is it like alcohol? No, it's not, it's not anything like alcohol. Some people ask me, is it like marijuana? And hey, marijuana is illegal in Indiana, so I have no idea what you're talking about. But yeah, it's a little bit more like marijuana. <laughs> it's a little bit more like marijuana than it is like alcohol. Now what I'm doing, I'm making sure to mix this kava up very well. And if, if you wanna take a quick look at this, take a look. That is just, it looks like mud in there. And it, it's a very, it, it is kind of, I mean, it's a, just gonna be kind of a goopy, muddy uh, looking liquid. Now, we let this sit for right around five minutes. That's just long enough for me to tell you all about Kava Kava and how awesome it is. And then we will strain. So I'll let it go for five minutes. And, and the thing is, you don't have to stop at five minutes. If you let it go for 10 minutes, it can be even stronger. But, uh, but for the sake of this video today, we'll, we'll, go about, we'll go about five minutes. So Kava Kava is actually something that comes from the pepper family and it has psychoactive properties and that will come from those kava lactones that are that are 
in the kava itself. Uh, a few things about kava and a few benefits that, that may interest you is that kava kava, uh, it, it actually does seem to act on the three, three major pathways. One is the dopamine pathway, another is serotonin, and the other is GABA. And if you're familiar with those three things, you know that, that those things feel really good. And those things are also really great for, um, well, a lot of things, one of which, especially GABA and serotonin, are, is for relaxing. So Kava Kava is something that is, has been shown to help with depression. It's had a mild, uh, very mild antidepressant effect if used on a regular basis. And um, this could be just basically because it has that effect on the serotonin levels. It does make you feel really good. So, uh, so while I've never, I've never myself taken it specifically for depression, it is something that is far healthier if you're feeling down and you just need a little break or if you've been stressed out at work. It's way healthier for you than going for a beer or, or some kind of alcohol. Another thing that it's really good for is insomnia. And this is also, again, because of the GABA and, uh, and the serotonin effects, it also has a muscle, a slight muscle relaxing effect. So especially whenever I've gone to do a lot of jujitsu or I'm sore because of going to the gym or whatever physical activity I've been doing that day, or if I'm, if I'm just, maybe I've been on an airplane or I've been sitting for a long time, that seems to be more excruciating than anything these days. So I mean, it's like, oh, geez, I'm just sitting here for a long time. Uh, it's a great way to decompress and relax those muscles. Um, some studies have shown that kava allows a person to get into a deeper sleep than if, if those are people who are taking placebo. Um, however, you know, it will, it will vary from person to person. I myself, Typically, I'll, I'll have some kava in the evening before going to bed. But the, the real cool thing about this is, um, as you can see, it's daytime right now. It's, you know, it's maybe a little after, um, right around 1 o'clock in the afternoon here in Indiana today. And I'm going to have, I'm going to drink some of this. And I won't feel um, drowsy. I'll feel relaxed. So there is that difference between feeling drowsy and relaxed. It's not the, oh, I'm about to fall asleep. I'm, I'm just... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm on the verge of passing out. It's definitely not that. In fact, in the Pacific Island uh, area, uh, you, you go to these Pacific Islander uh, uh, communities and kava is a social drink. Kava is a social drink that there are kava bars. And typically and traditionally, kava is drank out of coconut shells or, or some kind of a shell uh, that, that, that is kind of a, it's, it's a little bit like a shot glass. Um, it would be kind of like if you were looking at maybe the, just the red part of this, you would take it up and it's not a huge, really, it's not a really big, um, it's not like it's a really big, uh, drinking cup. It's not like you're going to have a stein of it, but, but it typically, uh, kava is something that is, is used in social gatherings, weddings, uh, things where they're celebrating. It's also something that um, has traditionally been linked to spiritual connection. So, so there's that as well. Um, another thing that kava has been shown to, to have an effect on is inflammation. So, um, so it's, it's great for if you're suffering from inflammation or pain in general because it has also a slight analgesic effect. And whenever you take this in, whenever you're drinking kava, you'll notice whenever you take your first, your first drink of it, your tongue might even go numb. Um, and that might sound scary. It's not scary. It's just kind of a woo, kind of a woo feeling, you know. Uh, <laughs> but like you can even feel it uh, like a numbing effect on the way down um, as, you, um, as you swallow the kava. So it's, it's actually, it's very powerful. It's got a very powerful uh, effect. It's something on your first try of kava, I would recommend make sure you're at home. Make sure you're in a place where you feel really safe. I myself, I've been using kava since the, the mid-90s. Uh, so it's something that I'm very comfortable with. At the same time, I wouldn't recommend drinking a whole bunch of kava and then uh, operating heavy machinery or driving. So um, I'm going to have some kava and I'm going to have a nice afternoon here in the park. Um, I'm going to just kind of enjoy some time in the park, really get back to nature and have a nice kava feeling. Now, I've let this sit for about five minutes. 
And what you're going to find is that it will, I don't know if you can see this, but there, there will become some sediment. There's some sediment that's in the bottom. Uh, again, mixing it up, shaking it up. This is how I do it. Not everybody does it this way. Um, this is just one way that I have found. It's kind of my, like I said, it's, it's the Midwestern hack version. Now, the other thing is, tip, traditionally, you'll find that um, the best way, that, that if, if you go most places, and even the suggested way um, here in the States or, or in Western countries, uh, it's suggested that you buy, there's like a bag that you can buy, and you put the kava in there, you strain it, and you squeeze it out. Now, that is awesome. I don't particularly have that. But what I generally do is I will use a, um, a French press. And, it, and you get pretty much the same effect. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pour this into the French press. And look at that. I mean, it's a muddy type of a concoction. Let's see here. Gonna rinse the rest out in there. And I'm gonna let it sit here for just a little while. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute and soak in all the kava lactones. So while I'm doing that, let's continue talking about other things that you you, you may be interested in when it comes to, to drinking kava. Um, uh, it, Kava Kava is also a anti-spasmodic. So if you're given, getting those little, if you if you've been really stressed um, and you get the, you know how the, you get the little things in your eyes or you get a twitch or something like that, or you're having muscle spasms in general, maybe they're even painful muscle spasms. Kava Kava has been shown to be because of its muscle relaxing effects. It's a great way to uh, to mitigate those effects. Also, some studies do show that Kava Kava is a, an immune system booster. Um, and this may be because it helps you stay in that parasympathetic dominant state, that rest and digest state. So um, that, is, uh, that is also another awesome reason for, to use Kava Kava. Um, there are a few um, health concerns. So there's a few possible things that you may want to just be aware of as far as uh, who should and should not use Kava Kava. Generally, it's going to be safe for just about everybody. Of course, uh, women who are pregnant or lactating should not use Kava Kava. Um, the other thing is, in the 90s, this is one of those things. I remember in the 90s, I used to I used to actually take pills of Kava Kava and just kind of really just enjoy. Um, and it was on, you, go, you went to any kind of a health food store and you would find Kava just about everywhere. But in the 90s, there were, there were some studies that came out that stated that Kava Kava may have uh, detrimental effects on the liver. So these were, these for this reason, it, it, all the health food stores, like, I mean, you used to be able to go to like a, even just like a Walmart or uh, Walgreens or GNC or just any health food store you ever thought of, they always had lots of kava. They would sell it in giant I mean, just enormous um, jugs, and it was just great. And I remember when there, there was a study that came out, and most of these studies uh, that pointed to kava being harmful for the liver, they were in, if, when people were using kava in conjunction with other substances that were already harmful to the liver. And it, there seemed to be some implication that there was an amplifying effect or a multiplying effect. A lot of these studies were done on people who were also either alcoholics or they were recovering alcoholics. And some of the studies were done with, on people who already had liver damage. And so, you know, my, my conspiracy theory uh, self was like, they're just trying to take it off the market because it works and it's natural and it's healthy. And hey, maybe that was the case. I don't know. But in the past decade or two, there have been a lot of uh, studies that came out saying that this was not necessarily the case. And if it is the case, it would be a very rare thing to have happen. So for the most part, it's seen as, as very safe. However, I do want to mention just that there, that the jury's still, st somewhat the jury's still out. So if you have liver damage, if you have liver issues, uh, I, would, I would recommend caution with uh, this particular supplement. Okay, so having said that, let's see if I can strain this right now. Okay, and I'm smushing all of the kava down to the bottom. I'm really trying to squeeze out 
all that delicious goodness. Now I say delicious. I say delicious. <laughs> but if for those of you who have, who have tried kava kava, you know it's not delicious. Kava kava is not a very uh, tasty thing. It's not something you're going to drink for the flavor. It tastes very earthy. It tastes, um, and it's got kind of a, a really bitter taste to it. It's related to the pepper plant. Uh, like I said, it's in the pepper family. It doesn't really have any kind of a spicy flavor to it. It's, it's just really super, super bitter. Um, and, you know, so it's not something you're going to do. I remember one of our, our first... Um, first introduced my brother-in-law to kava. I was like, hey man, try this out, see what you think. He was not very happy with me. And so, you know, it's not something, he was expecting it was really like a, like a flavorful tea. It is flavorful, but it's not flavorful in the way that you drink it for the flavor, okay? It is somewhat of an acquired taste as well. So, all right, so I'm gonna take some drinks. Oh yeah, okay. So. So instantly you feel, you feel it in the mouth. There's this kind of a numbing effect in the mouth, and it's it's got, it's got this. Um, and you know, it's a cold drink. You don't really drink it. I mean, you can drink it warm, but uh, but it's something that typically and traditionally it's it's, it's in the cooler water. You can do it with warm water, but don't do it with hot water because again, it kills the kava lactones, and that's the beautiful, that's the wonderful, that's the stuff that's in here that you're looking for. So. Cheers to you. Now I've only taken two drinks and I already feel it on my lips, on my tongue. Let's talk a little bit about dosage and the amount that you should expect to use. Now this will vary on from person to person. Um, and when I, when I, when you first try it, I recommend that you follow the directions, follow the directions to the T. I've been using it for a long, uh, a long time. So I make mine a little stronger because I like it a little stronger. Um, but it's really something that it's, it's safe, generally safe for everybody. And it's something that you're not going to have any hangover. You're not going to have any detrimental effects. It's just something that, um, you know, you're going to have a great little, a nice experience. Anyway, so I'm going to have a, a great time with my kava. I'm already starting to feel some happy effects. Now, as you continue to drink it, the effects become stronger. However, one last thing. One, and just, just a second. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's, it's like, <laughs> if a person just offered this to you, you'd be like, what the, what, are, what, are, what the hell are you trying to get me to do? But if you know that it's kava, you might say, thanks, that's great. That's really nice of you. Um, but when it comes, when it comes to, when it comes to kava kava, um, I highly recommend it for just for relaxation, uh, just to mellow you out for anxiety. It's, it's an excellent thing. And when it comes to how much to drink, really there will, be, there will come a time when you're elevated, and ele I mean, you get more and more elevated, but though there will become a level where the elevation kind of plateaus. And you're not gonna, it's not like it's gonna, you're gonna hallucinate or you're gonna, be doing things you wish you wouldn't have done or say things you wish you wouldn't have said. It's, it's a, it's actually a, one of the few things where, um, you, you do feel kind of social, you feel kind of loose, uh, you feel really good and it's really hard to abuse. Um, and having said that it's not habit forming, it's not addictive. So that by itself if, if it is fantastic. In fact, if you are someone who's trying to come off of an addiction, I highly recommend this as a way to help curb those cravings and to help curb your, uh, the, the anxiety that oftentimes quitting a, a drug or quitting, you know, cigarettes or something like that can give you. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy some of this. I'm going to go out and enjoy some nature. I highly recommend Kava Kava. Please take a look at the um, at my, uh, my blog post below about kava. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and don't forget to go out there and be nice to people.